Hello everybody, welcome to another update on the Gold Forecaster Index, the holy grail to predicting the gold price. And I want to start by saying that you who are watching this video are very privileged to have found this holy grail, this secret to predict the gold price. Because with this tool, you can really front run the market. And this is a tool that is 100% accurate. So in my last video, I said that gold would be breaking out. So it is, it is uh, on the verge of breaking out at 1,800 here. And we will probably go to 2,000. No, we are not going to go down. We are going to breach it and go to 2,000. And that's also being confirmed here by our latest data points for May. So it, it went up from April to May, not by a lot, but it's still up. So that means that we will probably move higher in the coming months. And this red line is, is based on leading indicators that you can find here. Let's take a look at the producer price index. You can see here that it is moving up, so that's positive. But I would like to see it move up more from here because there's still deflation risk. And this is also confirmed by capacity utilization. It is still at 64. That's very low, not good for inflation. So this needs to move higher as well. And look at this historical data here. This is really bad. We started with 90 capacity utilization rates, and that came all the way back to 64%. So all of those factories are not producing anymore in the USA. Not good. Let's take a look at the leading indicators. So we see a small recovery here, but it's really a small blip. Still needs to go up uh, back to the zero line. This is also recovering the weekly index. Uh, profits are going down here. Maybe we will see it bounce back a bit. And the recession indicator says that we are deep in a recession here. Let's take a look at the money supply. So I was a bit afraid that the money supply would go down here, but, but it's moving back up in June. So that's a good sign. That means that we are on the path of inflation again. Not a lot, but it's moving higher. Um, taking a look at the balance sheets. So the Federal Reserve is actually decreasing its balance sheet now. It's still buying US treasuries and mortgage backed securities, but the swap lines have come back down. So that's, that's this dip here. But we see here the blue line and the ECB here is actually massively increasing its balance sheet. It's almost 1 trillion in a week here. So they are just uh, taking turns here. First the Fed prints and then the Fed stops and then the ECB is printing. So they're just taking turns by creating money. This is... Uh, the Fed balance sheet, you can see that they are still printing it. And the repos are going back to zero here. Okay, let's take a look at the credit here. So credit is moving higher. That's okay. So the stock market will probably be flat going forward. I don't see a lot of change here. Corporate bonds are doing okay. They are 
it's that. And uh, 10 year minus AAA, which is proxy for the real GDP, is moving down. But lately it's it's pointing up again. So that could be a bit of weakness in stocks if you look at this trend here. But it's pretty stable. Corporate bonds are actually very stable here. I just wanted to tell you about default rates. They are spiking. You can see that here. So the red line is going up. So there are more defaults coming, I think, in the next months. So that's a thing to look for. So the next post is about the net international investment position, which is actually the assets minus liabilities. You can see here that the US was at 8 trillion at some point. And now we are already at minus 12 trillion. So it is not going well with the US. This is very bad, okay? Very bad. The US is a debtor nation. So they have a lot of liabilities and no assets. That's what this means. And I think this is going lower and lower and well, the US is going to go bankrupt at some point. So this is uh, not good for the US. And this is also confirmed by the increasing amount of deficits. So we had the latest deficit number here in May. And you can see here that it is coming down a lot. Okay, so the chart is flattening out a little bit. Maybe next month would be somewhere here. But the trend is really going down here. And especially the government deficit here. This is uh, ballooning here. And this is pretty much very bad for the US dollar. So I expect the US dollar to go down to the 90 dollar. Uh, 90 level here. It is now currently at 96, I think, and it will go down to 90 soon. And let's take a look at this. This is the goods trade deficit, which is actually very bad. And even the services are going down a bit. So the US has a positive services balance, but you can see here that this is also uh, weakening. Okay. And this is actually the most important chart here. You can see that imports, the import prices have moved up substantially, while the export prices have not gone up. So this means that uh, the US is going to have a lot of import inflation here. And that's very bad for companies like Walmart, who uh, need to import a lot of stuff from China. So this is something that we need to watch in the next month. Look at this, the cash freight index also collapsing there is no trade anymore it's even worsening in may so this is this is not the positive sign for the economy of the united states next data point here on business inventory to sales ratio also collapsing a lot of inventory but no sales so that means that GDP is going to crash here. This is the April number. Probably May will be even worse. Let's take a look at GDP and uh, industrial production numbers also crashing. So we have 
a lot of bad data coming in. Look at this, we are at recessionary levels here. And it's not getting better. See, uh, the May level is almost the same as the April level. This is not coming back. Industrial production is not coming back soon. Okay. And this translates in high budget deficits. So the government will need to print a lot of money to spur the economy back. But as you can see here, this will have an effect on the gold price. High deficits are correlated with a higher gold price. So I expect that the government and Federal Reserve will try to prop this up. So this budget deficit will probably go higher and higher. And that will mean that the gold price will also go higher and higher to the 2000 level at a minimum. Let's take a look at this chart here. So this is the deposits. You can see that all that printed money went into deposits. And initially, the loans were going higher. But at some point here, somewhere in June, this is going back down. So there are no loans created anymore, but they are getting paid off. So this is not a good sign yet. So I expect that we will see more money printing. This will need to go much higher to get this back up because uh, the government will need to get this back up. Otherwise, uh, we will not have uh, credit growth and loan growth anymore. We also got uh, numbers on the COFED, the currency, the composition of foreign exchange reserves. And you can see here that well, the amount of claims in US dollars is actually going higher in the first quarter. I expected this to go down, but apparently the US dollar increased its uh, currency, reserve currency status. So we are not going to see the US dollar uh, disappear soon. But they will try to devalue the US dollar, nevertheless. Some numbers on gold demand. So I always try to follow this because this is something that happened somewhere in March when we had the big crash in stocks and suddenly this is very stable and suddenly it shoots up here at the COMEX. Gold demand is skyrocketing and there is no stopping this. It just keeps going higher and higher and this should be very positive for gold. Also the deliveries have been moving higher. Also important to know we are now in July, August, very good gold seasonality. So typically the gold price goes higher in these months. Let's take a look at the GLD trusts. This is confirming the gold demand here. Total net asset value in the gold trust of GLD is going higher. And it's not making a all time high, but it's, it's actually shooting higher here. So that should also mean that gold is going higher. That's evidence. I also got some numbers on China. You can see here that China is doing much better than the United States. Look at this V-shaped recovery here. It almost seems perfectly symmetrical. Probably fake numbers, but I will believe them. And you can see here that the power consumption growth rate has actually gone back to the normal historic value. China power consumption is still on a 
uptrend. So if you want to invest in China, I think it's better to invest in China than in the US. And for example, you can buy things like, like the web companies here, Chinese internet companies with KWeb. Um, you can see here that China is very cheap, still at a PE ratio of 12, 13 here, while the US is at 20 to 25. So you can buy Chinese shares at half value. And there are some ideas here. Just wanted to show you a video of Dave Portnoy. This is actually very funny here. Let's watch this. Alaska Airlines up 17%. Boeing up 13%. Carnival up 16%. Delta up 7.5%. What, what do you do if you listen to old man Buffett? Get out on the airlines, idiot. What an idiot. Norwegian up 18%. Spirit up 12%. Unbelievable. All I do is make money. This game's so fucking easy. Look at me. Look at me. It's so fucking easy. Literally the easiest game I've ever been a part of. Up, 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 up. It's just, it, 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 I'm just printing money. I'm up 290 grand on the day and I'm mad. And I'm mad as hell. Mad as hell. Because I've sold so much of my fucking airlines because you fucking take profits, people. Why take profits when every stock goes up? Every airline goes up 20% every day. You just wake up 20%. Losers take profits. Winners push the chips to the middle and know the seven ain't coming. I should, I should be up a billion dollars. I should be up a billion dollars. That's how right I have been about cruises and airlines. They're not just up. They're up a billion percent. I should be up a billion dollars. Well, so actually, he's right. Stocks will only go higher. And that's because the Federal Reserve is propping everything up. But he also says that he shouldn't take profit. And it should be all in. He's right about that. But I think he's in the wrong sector here. The right sector should be gold miners because gold is going higher and oil prices are probably very stable here at $40. So these gold miners are going to go higher and higher and he should be in that sector. Okay, so we also had uh, Federal Reserve FOMC meeting somewhere in the beginning of June. And what we learned there is that interest rates were going to stay at zero until 2022. So that's two years that we will be at zero interest rates. Very important to know this because this is bullish for gold. Just going to show you this, what he says here. You know, we'd be looking to get inflation back up and we, we'd be prepared to tolerate uh, pretty low, a welcome, in fact, not tolerate, but welcome, very low readings on, on unemployment, just based on what we, what we saw in the last, um, in the last expansion. So, um, you know, we're, we're not thinking about raising rates. We're not even thinking about thinking about raising rates. So what we're thinking about is, is providing uh, support for this economy. We do think this is going to take some time. I think most forecasters believe that. Uh, it would be great if, if we got a whole bunch more months of job creation uh, like that. Not, notwithstanding that, as I mentioned, there, there are just a lot of people that are unemployed, and it seems quite likely that there will be a significant group uh, at the end of even, – even after a, a lot of strong job growth that will still be struggling to find jobs and will still be providing strong accommodation for that. So he's actually saying that – they will never increase interest rates again. And that's very bullish for gold. So conclusion is everything is pointing to 
a breakout in gold and you should go all in in that trade. Okay, and I'll see you in the next video.